Check, check. All right, guys, there's the button. Hello, everyone. I'm Luke Melkin. Welcome back to another episode here at Fusion Videos. Today, the wife and family are gone, so it's just a cat and Picasso and me. Let's jump in. Scene 12, take four. So today, since the family's gone, I'm going to be doing a bit of a writing crash tonight. I'm going to basically go and tell the script is written. I know this film is long overdue. It was supposed to be done like three weeks ago, something like that. But there's quite a few issues that came up. One of which is our business has been expanding the last couple months, which is really good. But it also makes it a little bit difficult to have the time to put into creative projects like this that honestly aren't making any money. But we enjoy doing it as just part of a craft that we have to do. So tonight, we're going to be doing writing. We have a lot of writing to get done, and I've been struggling with the different ideas. What should I do? Should I start off this way, start off that way? And in case you don't remember, this is the video about the mask. What do we do with masks? Because it seems to be kind of a common theme with everything. So if you're not overly familiar with how this story is going to be going down, check out the previous video we did on this. Okay, so now you've had a chance to go see that video. What we're doing tonight is finishing the writing. I've had some issues trying to figure out exactly how do I want to start it? How do I want to get it going? Because I am personally one that don't really like slow starts to short films. I've seen a lot of films where they start off super artistically, which is cool, but it's just dull. There's nothing happening. There's no story there. And my thought is story is king. That's what a lot of people say. Story is king. But it seems like a lot of people have forgotten that. Now they have all these tools to make stuff just look really cool. They forget about the story portion of it. And that's just, I find really sad. Now I'm not really a writer by craft. I just not that's just not me. I'm not one that likes to put down the words on paper. It's just not me. I am more of a storyteller, an ideas person, create the vision off the story, but actually sitting down and putting it on paper, it, it just doesn't work that well for me. So that's part of the reason I've had the struggle. And part of the reason I'm doing this stuff is just to get better at some of my weaker areas, but also bringing in people who know what they're doing. So I've had some help with this. It's not just me. So the big difference between the storyteller and the story writer is the storyteller is the one who makes the screen come alive makes this that makes the words come to life makes them really move the person because you can have a really cool script but if you don't say it right it doesn't come across well but it's really really difficult to have a bad script come across well with good storytelling having a good story really is the core of your film it can't just be a mediocre story and expect it to be a great film even with great storytelling what it really needs to be a great film is great story writing and great storytelling. That uses the equipment that you have available to you. It doesn't mean you have to have the greatest and latest of everything. You should be able to just use your cell phone for filmmaking. You can check out the videos we've done on how to make a film with just a cell phone. When it comes down to it, you really need both good story writing and storytelling. But it doesn't matter how good a storyteller you are, how good your actors are, if you have a bad script, it's gonna be a bad film. You can maybe make it a little bit better with cool effects and good acting and stuff like that, but it really, if you have a B script, you're not going to really get a better than a B film. It's just how it's going to work. So I've been really putting a lot of effort trying to figure out how do I make this script? I am I'm, know I'm not a great writer, so maybe I'm not going to make it an A script. But that's, how can I make it an A script for me and then make this film into an A film with my storytelling, using the craft I enjoy, using the actors that are volunteers, volunteer crew, working with the local university students here in town and anyone else in the community to make this film as a community project so we can all learn and grow together. So let's jump into writing. <laughs> Cat hair. So starting tonight's writing off, I am basically going to take everything I've written before and just get rid of it. I've already done this once before and apparently the cat's already doing that for me. All right, so what I'm going to be doing tonight is basically just starting over on the script. I'm going to take everything I've written already and just delete it. This will be the second time I've done that. A lot of times, that's what you have to do to write your story. Write it down a few times just to get the ideas flowing, see what works, what doesn't, and then just start over in your script. It helps you not only get the film going in the right direction, but it, if you start over on it, clean slate it, it gets rid of the, oh, I'm just going to tweak this, just that. No, you just got to start from scratch on it. But you have the general idea of where you're going in your head so you can really put that in paper now. Hopefully more fluid than it was before and you don't have to worry about trying to get rid of the bad and add in the good. You just start off with just putting in what you remember as being the good and don't worry about the bad messing it up. Now that everything's powered up, let's jump in. More cat hair. From A 
delete. Done. Scene heading. Exterior. Day. Sky. Day. Now here's something I see a lot of filmmakers doing in their scripts. They try making their writing of their descriptions all flowery, all super descriptive. I don't do a lot of that in my scripts because I'm the director, I already know what it's gonna be. I don't fill this flowery language. For me, I know what I have is equipment, what I have is locations. I don't have a lot of money to invest to make it maybe exactly how I put it down in the script. So I put a general just here like I put down. Beautiful sunny day as the sun setting with the fall colors and northern woods, birds chirping cheerfully as the wind blows lightly. For me, that's enough description. I don't need to put a lot of the flowery language and really finesse it. I know some people who start off maybe more in like the novel writing world. They go into script writing and they start putting into their script writing how they would in their novel writing. Script writing is a little bit to the point. Just get it out there. Don't worry about all the flowery stuff. Now, if you're trying to really make a big sale with your script, go ahead and do that so the directors maybe might like that, see that, yes, you're creative, you know what you're doing. Sometimes have your cat write your own script there. I guess he's a copycat. So I don't put a lot of the flowery language in here. So if you want to see what some of our scripts actually look like, go ahead and join our Patreon. We'll put up some of our PDFs of what we've done with our scripts. I might even explain a little bit about why I did it the way I did it like that. So get back to writing now I got one paragraph down now I'm gonna take a quick break here script writing has some rules that you should apply to it now if you're not overly familiar with how script writing works there's software out there that helps you write it and put all the proper text formatting and all that stuff into it but if you want to spend that you can put it in word and it probably won't look quite official but here's a few things you want to do one if a character the first time they show up on script you want to put their name in all caps and then you give a slight description about that character. That way if you're giving the script to somebody who doesn't know anything about your story, if you're not your own director, they can look and go, oh this is the first time this person appears, who is this person, what do I need to know about them, and you can put that description right there in the script. So they put a capital letters for the name, that way it stands out, this is the first time this name is being used, and then put the description to it. Whew, there it is. The first draft of The Mask Gone Wrong. About 2.30 in the morning, but I said I was gonna get it done tonight. I did take a break to go work out, had to get my mind off it for a little while. It's right around eight pages as now. I got the first draft. I'll come back tomorrow, look at it again, and I'll probably look at it going, what was I thinking? But at least I got it all down. Now we'll be sharing some more updates and stuff on our social media with our Facebook and Instagram. Also on our Patreon, so if you want to join us there, that'd be awesome. Now, if you want to actually see part of this, let me know and we can work on a little bit more together, a little more closely. I'm not just sharing this out to everybody yet, but we will be releasing to our Patreon once we get the final script done. You will get a copy of that if you want as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon if you want to get some of the other benefits. Patreon, it really does help us out a lot. So. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully next time you see us, it's going to be the actual completed project of Mass Gone Wrong. Uh -huh.